Hi there everybody, Phyllis Moore here, Philosophically Speaking. How are you doing today? Depends? Yes, that is the operative word. The password is depends. And we'll get back to that in just a moment. First, let me click. First, let me click. You click. I'm, I'm just going to keep talking. You can click like, share, or subscribe, or all of them. And just kind of follow along in this um, situation that we all find ourselves in currently. Many of us are sheltering in place, <laughs> quarantined, whatever. Our dynamic, if we're working remotely or we don't remotely have a clue. Whatever you want to say. I remember a show years ago. It was on for a short amount of time, kind of a filler show during the summer, and it didn't really take off. I thought it was very funny, but can't recall the name of it right now. Um, I do remember a couple of the, the actors and characters that were on it, and one of the scenes that stayed with me was the mom or grandmother or something. She was getting ready to go somewhere, and the either her son or her grandson. It was a young, maybe 10, 12 year old child. And he was, he was kind of, you know, not ready to go or something. And, and he said something about, keep your depends on grandma. <laughs> so that's my, that's my frame of reference. That kind of puts us in perspective because that is a popular brand of oh, adult diapers. You know, I hate to say it that way because for rep, for points here, it's not about adult diapers. Come on. When my kids were very little and they transitioned from diapers into pull-up pants, you know, they called them pull-ups. They came out with those around that time. And it was similar to what these um, Depends variations are for adults because the children you know, still weren't used to, to going on their own and everything, but they could pull those up and easily. So they didn't have to have any tabs or pins or, you know, tape or anything like that. So that's, you know, that's what I'm referring to. And it's not about you have an incontinence problem. And no, that does not mean you can't travel to other continents. <laughs> that's not what that means. It means you might have issues with bladder control, you know. And when you get to be a certain age, that happens. You know, you might laugh or sneeze or you're in a yoga class and all of a sudden, you know, you can't keep all the faculties going as they should. So this is my tutorial, educational, you know, post for you. But if you walk for any long stretches, as I do, and I drink a lot of water or different, different things because you try to stay hydrated, and then you're on a walk, and though you may know people in your neighborhood, I dare say you don't know them well enough to knock on their door and say, hey, can I just use your bathroom? I don't think so. You know, I wouldn't even go for something that would be as above board as, oh, can I come in and watch TV a little while? No, you don't get, you don't know me, but can I use your restroom? And so I'm fortunate for myself that there's a little neighborhood store and I can go there. But that's not something you want to do all the time. And you don't want to be known as the, oh gosh, she comes in here every day to use the bathroom. You know, that's kind of not, not really great. But it's very difficult. So I will just say those kinds of products are very beneficial because they kind of keep that insulation and allow you to walk to your heart's content and not have to worry about any other intrusions. So, you know, they're a little bit costly in some respects, but it's like an insurance policy, okay? Um, and so, yeah, I kind of like to refer to, you know, do you need that? Hmm, depends. <laughs> you know, it kind of lends itself to some real humorous things. But I will go fall on that grenade, if you will, because I had to return to a job and because I'm trying to hydrate all the time and had a bit of a, a a distance to travel to get to this. So I had a big glass of, a big bottle of water before I left and I had a, a container of hot tea, green tea that I consumed as well. And I was in a position where I had to work for like a four hour stretch. Not necessarily all in one place because there were restrooms, but I had to be outside dealing with the public in such a way that I was trying to manage 
uh, people returning to to this business and so I wasn't going to be in a position where I could say okay everybody line up and I'll be right back to go to the bathroom didn't have that luxury so yes those kind of insurance policy products they did work and as it turns out I really didn't have a, an issue but it made me feel better it just made me feel better so I'm just suggesting if you're able to create the illusion if you need it depends <laughs> again a product placement I keep dropping that it might be something else it just helps you to feel an extra layer of protection literally and figuratively just take care of yourself because you never know when you're going to need them might not be all the time it might just be occasionally but let me just say there is confidence in those products that's all public service consider it um, and, and that's tongue-in-cheek and being facetious in one respect um, because there are people who sincerely need them and and it's you know it, it's embarrassing and it's awkward and you know it's not it's not the optimum you know so it's tough and and I know people that that is their situation so this is certainly not making light of that because we may all find ourselves in need of various things that we never thought we would but short of that I'm just suggesting you know it's okay break the stigma break the embarrassment and do what you need to do because the last thing you want to do is you know feel like you're two years old and you had an accident while you were you know walking down the street just trying to help you don't forget to click like share and subscribe pull up your big boy pants or big girl pants and have a good day bye